Win the incredible Steigercraft 21DB Miami, powered by a Yamaha 200, in the ultimate season-long multiple species subscriber-only fishing competition, the Fisherman's 2017 Dream Boat Fishing Challenge. Go to thefisherman.com and enter today. The Fishing News is brought to you by Okuma. Hi there, Toby Lipinski for the New England edition of the Fisherman Magazine with this week's web video, Fishing Forecast for New England. Before I get into the report forecast here, I want to just uh, give you a heads up to check out Season 2 of Fin Chasers on Destination America. This airs Saturday mornings at 6 a.m. Keep your eye out while you're watching it for the Fisherman Magazine spot appearing in the episodes. Now, if 6 a.m. is too early for you to be uh, sitting at home watching TV on a weekend, uh, then why don't you just set your recording on your DVR as I have been doing, because I'm either out still fishing or I'm sleeping from the night before fishing at 6 a.m. come Saturdays. Uh, I found it's the best way to check it out, so be sure to give it a look. I'd also like to pass along word that we once again have a regular offshore fishing report appearing in print and online for New England. The first report appears in this week's issue and it came out just in time for some excellent action that's being had on everything from giant bluefin tuna off the Cape to big eyes and yellowfin down in the canyons and some large makos and massive thresher sharks in between so be sure to check it out if you're into the offshore fishing scene. All right, moving on to the reports, uh, starting off in Connecticut. You know, it is time to break out those snapper poppers as I got word of the annual arrival of these young of the year bluefish from pretty much one end of Long Island Sound to the other. They're still very small, but this is going to serve to help both the inshore stripe bass bite as well as the shallow water fluke bite. Keep in mind though that snappers are one of the best doormat fluke baits you can get and live lining one of them at your favorite fluke haunt would be a well advised way to go about getting that dream boat fluke in the coming weeks. Just keep in mind that the possession limit for bluefish remains the same here in Connecticut at 10 fish per person regardless of their size or intended use. Moving on into Rhode Island, you know, it was kind of tough, uh, tough call as far as what I was going to spotlight this week as I got word of some excellent catches of tuna, mahi, cod, stripers, fluke, porgies, and sea bass in the roadie reports this week. But since a post late last week going into the weekend on Facebook of a confirmed bonita from shore in Newport almost broke the internet, as they say, I will go with that. Word is they began popping up in a few spots across the ocean state, including the aforementioned Newport, as well as uh, off the walls in Point Judith and the rips of Watch Hill. Now, they're by no means widespread yet, but it could break open any day now. There's a lot of bait in those areas. I know the boats are starting to target them. And as is always the case, the early fish are so much, much easier, comparatively speaking, to catch than the ones you're going to see come September after everybody knows they're there and boats from all over the region have been out hammering those schools. And in somewhat of an odd but slightly related news, uh, I got word of a handful of Atlantic chub mackerel landed off Watch Hill this past weekend and on into the last couple of days. Brothers Wyatt and Jake Verbridge uh, each landed one on Sunday. They sent me some cool shots of those. And Mike Wade at Watch Hill Outfitters sent me a picture of one landed by one of his customers. Now these are not the usual Atlantic mackerel that we are more familiar with and somewhat more common in the area, but a different species species altogether. Then up in Massachusetts, I'm going to hit upon the awesome bluefish action once again this week taking place off the Cape from uh, east of Chatham from sort of the sword to crab ledge with fish over 76 inches have almost become the norm in that area. Uh, they're taking live baits, trolling rigs, jigs, poppers, pretty much anything you feel like throwing at them is producing. Captain Eric of the Goose Hummock Shop had fish of 72, 84, and 90 inches last week. Just to give you an example of the kind of catches that be, are being made. I've heard of much similar results coming from other boats heading out that way. So if you ever wanted to knock a, a, a giant off of your bucket list, now just might be the time to head up there. All right, well, there you have it. I am Toby Lipinski for the New England edition of the Fisherman Magazine, wishing you tight lines if you head out onto the water this weekend. The Fishing News is brought to you by Okuma. 
Win the incredible Steigercraft 21DB Miami, powered by a Yamaha 200, in the ultimate season-long multiple species subscriber-only fishing competition, the Fisherman's 2017 Dreamboat Fishing Challenge. Go to thefisherman.com and enter today.